Yeah, I started with a very small Polaroid camera, which I kind of worked as a labourer with my dad, and I saved money up. And the Polaroid camera was um, probably the most stupid thing you could ever save up to buy because the film, the Polaroid cassettes, was so expensive. You'd predetermine what was most important to photograph, so there'd be a lot of looking, a lot of thinking. But essentially, that would be the, 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 the point I'd start to make pictures. Joiners, craftsmen, labourers, I would be the, the tea boy, I'd be part of that environment and eventually work alongside them and learn quite a lot about their, their routines, their concerns, how they live their work time, how they live their social time. Some of those kinds of spaces which are just a little bit more um, removed from, from where the spotlight might have been in the wider histories of photography. It's not necessarily as uh, cut and dried as drawing a line between north and south, but it is to look and appreciate some of the qualities of, of the experience of, of being from that part of the world. Some of the opportunities that exist or don't exist, some of the structures to do with work or labour or social life that people experience in that part of the world. And I suppose football is a big part of that. Everything I used to photograph and, and still do from time to time is, is outside the ground. It's in the bars, it's in the, the streets outside. How those rituals of, of going to the match were, were part and parcel of, of being from Liverpool. I think I focus on making work in the north, and in a very small part of the north. You know, I guess most of my pitches from Liverpool and the Wirral are made within you know, six mile radius of each other. But the reason I focus on, on that is because I feel something there which I don't feel in other places. When other people look at the work from outside and they, they tend to grasp at some of the work and they might start to generalise, it's all about poverty, it's all about um, disenfranchisement. Well, it's, it's absolutely not. It's about people and the way they live their lives. And they live incredibly full lives. There might be tests, there might be challenges within all that, but it'd be far too simplistic to simply dismiss it as, as a type of challenge that typifies a certain kind of place.